Alright guys, it's been a while since I did one of these videos, but I'm back again with another custom NHL build. This time around, it is the highly requested Ryan Suter. Okay, so nobody actually requested Ryan Suter, and I get it. He's not the flashiest, most exciting player. He's never won a Norris or a Cup. He doesn't really have the hardware. He won't be a Hall of Famer. But I play a lot of defense in this game, and I wanted to build a more defensive defenseman, and there aren't a lot of great options in terms of what this game allows you to build when it comes to players like that. On top of that, Suter is a guy whose game I really appreciate. He's a workhorse who plays solid defense and has aged gracefully, and he's also a guy who I think doesn't get the respect he deserves considering the career he's had. Contract aside, I think there are not many teams in the NHL who wouldn't love to have a solid veteran defender like him in their top four. He's finished in the top five uh, for Norris voting three times, playing good shutdown D throughout his career while still contributing consistently on offense. He's never scored double digit goals, but he still has eight seasons with 40 or more points, and he plays in all situations. My hope was to build him as a defensive defenseman and give him just a little boost to his offensive stats, but it's 6'1", 208 pounds, he's too small to be built as a defensive defenseman. So I instead built him as a two-way D-man and just gave his defense stats a little bit of a boost. So I went ahead and gave him Defensive Minded 1 for the first trait, Target Slapper 2 for the second, and Quick Defensive Stick as the specialty. The result is a two-way build with 87 stick checking. Keep in mind that's with the addition to stick checking added in the defensive zone with Quick Defensive Stick, 88 shot blocking, 88 defensive awareness in addition to a respectable slap shot and decent skating. Going online, I felt immediately comfortable with this build. This build just has so many ways to shut guys down on defense, whether it's blocking shots with ease and almost never getting stunned in the process, intercepting cross crease passes even when the positioning is not perfect, or poking pucks away with Pretty much as good a stick check as any build I've ever used. You will have opponents pulling their hair out whether you're shutting them down at the blue line or protecting your post. The skating, I admit, is not spectacular. He definitely can get beat at times, but I think with smart positioning and good reads, you should be able to stay with the play 90% of the time, and that defensive skill stick is unreal at catching guys from behind and taking away those partial break opportunities. On top of all this, the body checking, a mere 76 overall, does not prevent this build from knocking guys off the puck consistently and leveling smaller skaters. One of the big surprises uh, to me with this build was the shot. So the wrister is definitely weaker, but the slap shot with 83 accuracy and 84 pow power is a valuable tool in the offensive zone. Usually when I make defense builds, I have trouble getting enough goal clips to put in these videos, but not this time. I was wiring pucks in from distance off the one-timer consistently, and while I might have had just a, a few good lucky games or something, it's certainly not a skill to be overlooked. He's also very strong on the puck, which to me is really valuable in a lot of situations on defense. Um, for instance, when you get a rebound in front of the net and you need to move that puck up ice quickly, uh, rolling off contact at the blue line to create scoring chances, or just shaking off four checkers. So this is by no means a flashy build. It definitely excels at the things that you aren't going to see a lot of in my highlight videos. Uh, although I did manage to get a few pretty nice looking clips, that doesn't mean this build doesn't have its place. I would gladly use this build in competitive play in sixes or threes, although I will say it's much more suited for the sixes game. I think with the way cross creases get through lanes this year, it is so big to be able to pick off those tap-in plays down below the hash marks. The only real drawback is the skating, but no build is great at everything and I still think this build skates reasonably well, and I've definitely managed to play good defense with much slower skaters. So overall, I definitely recommend this build just because it's so well-rounded. So he's great at literally every aspect of defense, and then he's at least average to above average at pretty much everything else. Anyway guys, that's my Ryan Suter build. 
Let me know what other builds you'd like me to get to and I'll try to get around to them. Be sure to check out my custom NHL builds playlist, which you'll be able to click to at the end of this video. And to my D-man out there, get out there, try this build out, let me know what you thought. Hope you all like this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Let's go.